some of the animals that you will no longer be seeing at the farm because stop doing that Tim. don't 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 okay you guys are gonna kiss okay kind of weird quit it anyways <laughs> sorry this is pg we are going to be getting a new animal in like the next like month or so, so hey farm fam welcome back to my channel for those of you that are new welcome and welcome to today's video so you guys it's 2022 and I really want to give you guys an update on all of our animals, things that are going on around the farm. I like doing these videos um, at the beginning of the year or the middle of the year because it kind of just like keeps you guys in the loop of things that I can't make like specific videos about. And you guys infiltrate my comment section with the same questions over and over. And that's not a bad thing. Keep asking your questions so that I can do these type of videos and answer them for you guys. My only thing is that I want everybody to know the same answer. Just in case if I don't see the comment, I want you guys to always know what's going on around our farm. That's why we have this channel. So it's videos like this that I get the opportunity to kind of update you guys on things and tell you guys things that I haven't formally said in a video just because the opportunity hasn't rose to tell you guys a very small detail or even sometimes I will put small details into other videos that just get missed. So we're gonna do this video and I'm going to give you guys a bunch of updates. Things that I haven't told you yet, some things that are gonna be happening. So I'm really excited for this video. And I think you guys will be too because a burning question you guys keep asking me, <laughs> don't bite my head, is where did the ducks go? And I wanna just tell you guys everything that we have going on. So let's go ahead and get right into this video and let's do an update on all of my 40 plus pets. So before we get started, make sure that you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And of course, have a chance to my post notification shout out. Also you guys, leave your questions, comments in the comments down below so that I can answer those as well. I typically do reply to every single comment on my channel. All right, you guys, without further ado, let's go get into these updates. So first update since we're here with Cash, basically he I feel like is the one animal that has been updated on multiple times just because we've been following his barrel racing journey. We just got done going to a clinic this past weekend. I just had a lesson with him last night and he is really doing so good. We're kind of teetering that age from four to five. He's literally about to be five. So no more is he really a baby anymore. So he is going to start to hopefully be maturing more. Um, he is really starting to understand the sport of barrel racing. Um, last night's lesson was super successful with him because he's starting to understand that yes, there's a pattern that you go around in three barrels, but more of the mechanics behind it and not running into barrels, not going too wide. So he's just figuring it out with me as well. So I think as a team, we are doing really good. He's being nippy today. But I guess let's update our next one because it's kind of cool. Let's go down here. Hi, kitty. Guys. If you know which cat this is, leave it in the comments down below really quick before I tell you. So, if you guys remember a long time ago when we had our little kittens that were in our attack room with the mom and then the mom passed away and we were left with, actually it was four kittens. My friend took the gray kitten, well one of the gray kittens because there was two gray kittens. <laughs> so then we were left with three little kittens was the gray one, the tiger stripe one that you guys just saw, and the black kitty. And basically, they were in my tack room, then transitioned into the house so that they could accustom to our lifestyle. He's gonna eat my head, I swear. But now, they are barn cats, and they are loving it. This is Tiger Lily, and what's really funny is we call her Meat. I know that's super weird, but like M-E-A-T. It's just a nickname she's coined. She's always eating stuff, so we call her Meat, but she loves being outside the most of all the three cats. As you can see, she's in the barn. Um, Pizza, which is the black kitty, she comes in the barn sometimes, but Stella never comes in this barn. She's too scared. But Tiger Lily is thriving out here as a barn kitty. She loves it. We'll talk more about the three little kitties when we find the rest of them. But Trigger's update, really not much. Uh, but I think the last time that I really have talked much about him is that he, during the summer, was having some really seasonal allergies. So he's kind of getting those allergies just within his eyes but he's not getting like the typical summer allergies of sweet itch and stuff. And I know in my last video, his eyes were running and you guys were asking me about it. Same thing, he just has allergies. This is why he is stalled during the day in the barn. I get that question a lot, why triggers in the barn during the day when the other horses aren't. It's because of his allergies. Him being in the barn is a lot better during the day for him and his allergies. So nothing is technically wrong with his eyes. He just has allergies, that's why his eyes water. But other than that, he's no longer on like a no riding so I have ridden him a bunch since the summer. So it's really good to be able to ride him again. And he is super, super dark right now. Don't mind his dirt, he just came in from outside. 
So he's a little dirty, but he's super, super dark right now because he installed during the day. So his coat is so dark and not bleached out at all. But other than that, no real updates on Trigger because he's just super easy and is just thriving here at the farm. Next horse to update you guys on is June. No real updates except you guys have been following her little cut foot journey. So I'll show you guys that and give you a little update on her foot. But other than that, June is just June. She has put on so much weight. She looks so good, you guys. If you didn't see my recent Instagram picture of her, you need to go look. My Instagram's just at Stephanie Murado. She looks beautiful in that picture. She looks beautiful all the time, but like in that picture, you need to check it out. And if you do go check out that picture, go comment on it and say that you're from my video so that I can reply back to your comment. But she looks so good. She spilled out so nicely on our feeding program. So she is a hefty girl. Super, super cool horse. But let's show you her foot. So this is how the cut looks now. So it's pretty much all healed. It's scabbing up, so it's looking pretty good. Um, it's gonna take a little bit longer though because it is at a really like vulnerable spot because it's so close to the ground and she uses her feet every single day. So this is how it looks um, and she does mess with it a lot, but lately she's been leaving it alone because it is scabbing up so maybe it's not bothering her as much, but I'm sure that in no time it will be all back to normal. Are you a good girl, Judy? Say yes. I'm good. <laughs> You're a good girl. But June is also in her own pasture still just because of her cut. And when she's out with the boys, they play around so much. Even when Blaze is around her, um, he always loses shoes because they're always playing around. But with that being said, let's go check out Blaze and his update. All right, let's go to the fun pasture. Back up, Pinky. Come on, go. So like I was saying about not letting Blaze in the pasture with June is because <laughs> he will lose his shoes. So yes, you guys, I briefly mentioned this in another video, but he got shoes, so Blaze, oftentimes, whenever he would be ridden, he would go, let's call it lame, not a full lame, but he would go lame, where he would just be limping. For years, we tried to figure this out. Finally, we found a really good vet who was able to help us figure this out, and he was diagnosed with navicular. Um, so, with that being said, how to basically treat it now, therapeutically, is he needed front shoes, and also they did a treatment of Osvos. So that's the course that he's on now, which he's doing really good, but I wanna show you guys his shoes because they're interesting. If you've ever seen a horse with shoes, his might be a little bit different. So let's show you. All right, Blaze, let's show him your foot. We really don't wanna get stepped on with these. So as you guys can see, like the shoe is fully around connected. It's not like a half or anything like that. And then also right here is like a gel pad. So you can't even see the sole or the frog of his foot at all. Like the actual foot never touches the ground now. It's all this pad for support and then the shoe so it's really interesting this is how it looks what do you think did they do a good mini other than that um he doesn't have any huge updates except you guys noticed in my amazon favorites video that he had the worst haircut ever so see ya he doesn't want to talk about his haircut you're offending him now i am offending him it's okay it's okay it's okay to have a bad haircut so come on this side and i'll show you guys his bad haircut over here and also the only other horse with a bad haircut for this reason is Cash. So you'll see his is kind of chopped up on his forelock as well. It's because of these two right here. So they pretend that they are barbers and they cut his mane and forelock. So generous. Stop looking at him like that, Willie. Stop doing that to him. Don't, don't, don't. Okay, you guys are going to kiss? Okay. Kind of weird. Quit it. Anyways, <laughs> sorry. This is PG. <laughs> so the goats live next to the horses in one particular stall and that one particular stall blaze goes in and also cash goes in so throughout the night blaze puts his head over to look at the goats cash puts his head over to look at the goats throughout the day whatever and the goats basically chop all his hair off super common thing for goats to do this i'm actually surprised they haven't gotten his tail let's check on your tail nope tail is good um, that's because they can't reach us in the stall, so they are so busy out here during the day that they don't want to chew on him. But when they're bored in their little pen at night, they chew on his mane and tail. So it's unfortunate. He has a nice, terrible haircut. So we might as well just give an update on these goats. Wow, okay, show off. <laughs> Minnie, it's literally one leaf. There's so many other leaves. Why are you doing this? Okay, show off, goat. Update on the goat, because someone asked in a comment where the goat's not going out with the pigs because I did say that we are no longer really doing an indoor wash rack because that's where their pen is. Um, but what are you doing to her? That was interesting. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, you guys. Anyways, yeah, this is, this is why I want to keep them out here though because they have so much fun 
with the horses and the donkey and in general goats really like horses i feel like i'm having a conversation with the goat um goats really like horses and equines and stuff like that so I really like them back here and there's so much grass for them back here and they're really good goats so I am torn with moving them in with the pigs because the pigs are going to have three new members very soon so they're really not lacking company and I think the goats really like it back here. So with that being said, um, look at this, get the kitty. <laughs> With that being said, the pen inside the barn is not just not going to be a, an indoor wash truck just because that's where they are staying because we actually are going to make them a pen behind the barn um, because they're out most of the day anyways except at night just because of predators. You guys know we do have a pretty bad predator problem. So that's why um, they are going to need to go in a pen. So we are going to be building them a pen that's going to be behind the barn, not in the barn. But we still do want to keep that indoor pen for dinky or anything like that just because it's really convenient to have. Um, and since we do have an outdoor wash rack that we even hardly use, um, it just makes sense to not turn it into an indoor wash rack. Right, Dinky? But other than that, the goats are doing really good. Um, they are living life. They are out to pasture with the horses, as you guys can see, doing funny stuff like that. Why are you doing that? Put it down. <laughs> this is the best thing. I love watching them. They're always doing something. Last thing is people were asking if I was going to breed Minnie and kind of confusion on <laughs> this goat. They are brother and sister. He's a weather, so he is neutered, so they cannot breed together. They are brother and sister. We don't want them breeding together. But with Minnie, I really do want to breed her, as you guys know. So um, originally I said that I was going to get a buck to breed with her, but we're basically thinking of just borrowing a buck so that I don't have to have a buck here since I only have one female goat. So yeah, hopefully. This year, we will breed mini. Basically, we need to update on the cats as they come because they're here and there. And Bagel is literally an obese barn cat, I swear. Like, this cat is so big. But he is a very loyal barn cat. And I will say, he's probably our most loyal because he's here all the time, 24-7. If you walk outside, he's running over. And he just doesn't like to be picked up, so that's why I'm just filming him. Right, Bagel? Good kitty, say hi, I'm an obese barn cat. <laughs> but yeah, no huge updates on Bagel, except that he's just getting fatter and fatter. He, he just is a lazy outside barn cat, but he loves being around us, loves being around the farm, so this is what he does. Moving on to Dinky. So Dinky is doing good. She's starting to get her winter coat because like we're in winter, so she's fluffy. I'll probably have to clip her here in a couple months, but you guys see this specimen right here. and. Sometimes you guys see it in my videos and you'll ask about it and other times you don't see it because it's not there because we are constantly treating this. So she actually, if you go back to old videos, she had two, she had one on each eye and we have successfully cured this eye. Well, <laughs> anyways, sorry for that interruption. Um, we have successfully cured this eye, but this eye is a big problem. So what they are basically is summer sores. Um, she got them during the summer from allergies, her eyes leaking, flies, all of that happened um, and she was put on decks and she was put in the stall during the day she's not really an animal that loves to be in the stall though so we will put fly mask on her but she takes them off so this is a battle we put stuff on it every single night it's just an uphill battle because she rubs it on things every day and opens it so that's why you'll see in some videos it'll look worse than others just depending on if she's opened it up so today she's opened it up pretty bad so then tonight We'll clean it, we put everything on it, and then tomorrow it'll start to scab up just because that's the normal routine. But we are still battling that. If you guys have ever had a donkey with summer sores and how you guys have cured it, let me know in the comments down below because we will take any advice because I hate how bad her eyes look and I feel so bad for her because it's so itchy. And we, I feel like we've tried every product that we can. So that's Stinky's update. Um, she should be like maybe like a year and a half now. And um, I want her to just finish out growing a little bit more and then we are definitely going to be breeding Dinky. I don't know exactly when, but I definitely want a mini Dinky. So we will breed her one day, but I still think she's a little too young. So she's just hanging out, but yes, we will definitely, and we won't get a stud donkey. We will just um, find a stud donkey and there is a lot more options for that in my area. So that'll work out good, right Dinky? But other than that, um, she, is really good if you guys go back to my old videos where she was like crazy and such as you can see i'm literally sitting down in the pasture with her i 
can grab her. We can put a halter on her. She literally gets her feet trimmed. Like, she's so good about it. All right, Dinky. Like, we get her feet trimmed just like this, and she's literally picking up her foot like a horse. So, she's really good. She's gone through a really good, like, breaking process. She does really good out here with the goats. Sometimes she'll run after them, but for the most part, she's just good. She's not a really good protector, as you guys know. <laughs> what are you doing, Mishka? So weird. Oh, big yawn. Mishka! <laughs> okay, don't scratch me. <laughs> Guys, can you tell the difference between Mishka and Crazy yet on my channel? Let me know. It's very easy for me to tell the difference of them. Hi, kitty. Mishka also is a really good cat around here. But he only comes around during like feeding times. We don't really see him just hanging out casually. He's only here when we're out feeding. But he's a cool cat. I like him. I like hanging out with him. And the little kitties, um, the three kittens like I was telling you guys, they are like not super huge fans. Well, I should say <laughs> Mishka, Bagel, and um, Crazy are not super huge fans of the kittens. But they tolerate them. There's Tiger Lily and Mishka. But I will say, Tiger Lily is the boss out here lately. She is the boss of Bagel. Bagel is scared of her. So that's pretty interesting that I am like this little kitty is the boss. See, even right there. She is the instigator. She wants everybody to know that she's the top cat. I was about to say top dog, but because as you can see, Mishka's a pretty big cat. He's been around here for a while and he doesn't take any crap, I will say. But she wants everyone to know that she's bigger than them and she's not. But she's got bagel and now she just sized up Mishka. Last horse to update you guys on is Louie and he's leaving me. Louie! Oh, he's so beautiful, you guys. No super real update on Louie, honestly. He's still the same old, same old. I don't know, honestly, if he'll ever change. But what I do know is he looks great. He's super shiny. He's super well fed. And that's all I care about. So, other than that, this is how it is. He's really good about going to his stall and he's super comfortable in the barn. So that makes me happy. And he's good with all the animals that we put out here with him. So that's really good too. So he makes a really good pasture pet. And a lot of people ask if I'm gonna ever ride him or anything like that. He is in his 20s, probably his like mid to late 20s now. Look at that. See, that is improvement out in the pasture. I've got nothing and he's sniffing my hands. But anyways, um, I don't really have any plans to really ride him because we have so many other horses that need ridden. And um, he doesn't wanna be ridden. So why would I do that if he doesn't want to be ridden? Um, especially in his old age and when I say he doesn't want to be ridden it's not because he's just being a jerk it's just because he's so deathly scared of like humans so he's had a long life and whatever happened to him in his lifetime has scared him for life because I've never met a horse like him so we just let him be out here in the pasture and enjoy his life right Louie now we have our three little pigs you guys always ask about them because I do realize that I don't put them in like every single video um, and sometimes when I'm in the barn, like I just know that they're in here because they're in the stall, but then I don't really mention them. But they're still here. I know a lot of people don't think I still have them, but they are here and they are doing so good. As you guys can see, all of their like coats and skin look so good. Even the black pig, all of his like coat came back. They all look really good. So they are in good health to finally be neutered. So our neutering appointment is in two weeks, January 27th. So after January 27th, you guys, you will be seeing these pigs get moved out with Mr. Pig and Stewie, and we are so excited. We can't wait for them to get out of the stall just because they are pigs and they deserve to be out and rooting up and eating grass. But the stall was like their quarantine area, and we are very grateful and super thankful that we did this so that they didn't get our other pigs sick. And it gave them time to heal up before they went out with the big pigs. So they're doing really good. They're so friendly. As you guys can see, they're rubbing all over me. They love us. And I think they are gonna do so good out there with the other pigs. And I also was seeing a lot if we were gonna be keeping the three little pigs. We are definitely keeping the three little pigs. I can't wait for them to go out and be with the other pigs and stay here for the rest of their life. So we're super excited. They are getting a lot bigger. I don't know if you guys can tell. They have grown a lot. They're still pretty small, but they are growing. So super excited to show you guys what happens in the next like three to four weeks with these pigs. So it's gonna be cool for them to meet Mr. Pig and Stewie and we will have a group of five pigs 
and out back. We are over in the cow pasture. The chickens are going up to bed, so we aren't seeing many of them pop. <laughs> But the chickens are doing pretty good. Here's another one. We actually, I think, only have like 13 chickens. I think I've told you that before when I was cleaning the coop out. Um, but we did get something new. Ah, it's that here. Hmm. Bummer. Well, I don't know where it is right now, but I did see it earlier. And by it, we got a rooster. So he was out here before i just don't know where he is right now he hangs out with the girls somewhere because one two three four five six chickens are right here so he's obviously with the rest of them but he hangs out with the girls and we got a new rooster so you guys will see a rooster in my videos again because we have a rooster again <laughs> so i know you guys wanted me to get a rooster we had every idea to get a rooster but we finally got one my neighbor gave me their rooster so we have a rooster moving on over to the cows they are just you know, they do nothing. Albie is doing good, doing nothing. <laughs> Horns are getting huge. Goodbye, Albie. He actually looks like he has kind of like a winter coat. He's kind of fluffy around his hump. <laughs> and you look really fat. <laughs> okay, we're going over to these two. Big Chungus, Moosey. Moosey, look at Jojo, guys. Jojo is literally about the same height as him. Oh my gosh. Maybe because she's on a hill. Oh, she's cheating. She's on like a tiny little bit like of a hill over there. <laughs> she might not be as tall. As but my updates with Moose are really nothing. He's still breaking fences, as you can see over there. And then Miss Jo, as you guys know, she is not pregnant. So that's unfortunate. But... Like I said in my video about her not being pregnant, we are thinking we are gonna try to AI her once more, and if not, then we will probably find her a bull because I really, really want her to give us a calf, and I was hoping for by the end of this year, so we will see how that goes. Hi, Stewie! Hi, Mr. Pig! You guys are about to get three new roommates! Guys, I really think the three little pigs are like gonna be bigger than him. He's so short, but they are definitely probably not gonna be as big as Stewie. Stewie's a big pig. The pigs are doing good. They absolutely love their pen out here. I think they have a lot of fun. They're always, <laughs> they know it's feeding time. They're always in the back in their pen area. So I think they really like the additions that we've given them. They have so much fun. They do still love being like in here, but being able to go out there and have fun out back, I think is something that they really love. So they get along good. He is top pig though still, which is kind of funny because he's not even neutered and he's huge. And Mr. Pig has decided that he's top pig. So, which is a good thing for him because Stewie is such a sweet pig. <laughs> I'll be interested to see the dynamic when we add the three little pigs. So loud. But the pigs are thriving. They're doing good. <laughs> right, piggies? Right? Tiger Lily, focus. <laughs> that was a rock. She went really far for that one. Good job. Guys, it's so funny how tiny this little cat is out here. But Tiger Lily loves being out here. And I meant to mention that we do still let all of the cats come in if they want to come in. So we have an open door policy. If they want to come in, great. If not, that's perfectly fine too. Penelope! Guys, <laughs> that's pizza. Penelope! Hello! You're so happy to see me. Penelope! Penelope is doing good. Really no real updates on Penelope, but. You guys do always ask why Penelope isn't with the other pigs. So I figured that I'd just answer it in a video. Penelope was born and raised inside a house before I even got her. So all she's known is the inside of a house. So believe it or not, Penelope really likes to be inside of a house. So she likes to come outside. She is outside a lot where she gets to root and do normal things that a pig does. But when Penelope wants to go inside, she lets it be known, like she knows she's a house pig and she loves it. The only, like, I guess we'll say real update on Penelope is that she no longer uses a crate. She is a pretty big pig and she doesn't use a crate anymore. So she's no longer crated at all. Um, she has a lair. We've actually turned like our closet into her little lair is like what we call it because she likes to rearrange things in there. She's got some blankets and dog beds and things like that in there. So 
Penelope has her lair. We only created her when we would leave the house just for her safety, but now that she is a lot bigger, she does not need to be going in a crate at all. So, and she's messing with Mike over there. Also, her and Mike's relationship has gone downhill. She's like not really happy with Mike all the time, ever. Tiger Lily, you're in the business today. This is Tiger Lily's video, guys. You know, oh, oh my gosh. Tiger Lily is like the new founding star of this show. So, yeah. Another cat. Guys, this is crazy. Crazy is also kind of like Bagel. He is always here. So now you guys see Crazy to tell the difference. Hey, quit it between him and Mishka. Um, he's a lot more petite than Mishka and he doesn't really like travel far. So he always likes to be here. And Tiger Lily is probably being mean to him. You better be nice, Tiger Lily. Are you guys playing on the lawnmower? We just found Stella. So here she is, she was hanging out. And this is how cute she is. She's so cute. But she is the most scared of like everything, but she doesn't mind being out here. In the beginning, she kind of would like want to come inside more and we let her, but now she's like got her place. She has a hiding spot around here where we don't really know where it is, but she definitely comes around for feeding time. But other than that, she doesn't really hang out much unless it's feeding time. But I think she's doing good out here. And she is so sweet. She's such a pretty cat. Easy. So pizza, she is so sweet and she has literal <laughs> wet cat food on her face right now. But she has so much fun out here. She actually hates being held, so we're gonna let her go. Jeez, kitty cat, be nice. We have a routine with her where she comes in every morning and she hangs out with us during our morning inside. But she's super sweet. She's actually nicknamed now. She got a nickname that was from Pizza and then it turned into Pete because it was like short for it. And now we always call her Lexi. We always call her Petey, but it's so funny to see her out here with the dogs because she's always loved the dogs. So she always like lays with the dogs out here. This morning she was laying with Penelope out here. Pete does really well coexisting with the other animals. Now that we've gone through all the cats, I wanna give you guys an update on some of the animals that you will no longer be seeing at the farm because of two reasons. <laughs> so basically, not because, well, let me just break it down. So we obviously don't see Domino in this video and unfortunately, there's probably a good chance that you will hardly ever see him on my channel. Um, not by my choice, of course, but if you guys remember a long time ago when I made a video that we had lost one of the cats um, and we had lost Domino, but lo and behold, we found Domino. He was just, he just decided to make a new life at my neighbor's house. <laughs> Literally the neighbor that um, has the donkeys and the mini horse that we always see in the back, that's the house that I'm talking about. And they really like Domino and Domino clearly really likes them. Um, so Domino decided that he was gonna live over there and come over here occasionally, where before it was Domino lived over here and occasionally went to the neighbor's house. So it switched. Um, if he ever needs to go to the vet though, my neighbor is really good about communicating with me if he needs to go to the vet or anything like that. But there's a pretty good chance that you will not see him on the channel because he's never here. Um, and when he does come here, it's really late at night and I'm typically not filming late at night. So that is one animal that I need to give you guys an update on that you will probably not see on my channel anymore unless he decides to re-come home and start living here again during the day. Lucky for us though, we do see him, but for you guys, you probably won't ever see him on my channel. But if he does come around, I will definitely take pictures and put them on my Instagram. So just make sure that you follow me on there. And then the other animal before we finish up with all the rest of our dogs and talking about a new animal, but um, are the ducks. I see this comment all the time that my phone literally knows the response to write when I see your guys' comment about the ducks and what happened to them. So Squeaky and Lemon, oh my gosh, we loved them. They were so cute. We got them as tiny little babies. We've had so much fun with them on our channel um, growing up and bringing them out to the pigs and them living here. It was super cool. And then my neighbor's ducks basically moving in with them and everything. And then they kind of like left our property as well migrating with my neighbor's duck and they've just never been at the farm since so that's why you don't see them anymore as well so the ducks do not live here anymore same situation kind of like domino um, they don't live here anymore so that's why maybe one day we'll get ducks again but it's hard because my neighbor has birds um, and even like I'm surprised that my chickens stay over here so I'm gonna be even surprised that the rooster stays over here because it's so close to my neighbor's house um, so yeah I don't know if we'll ever get ducks again they're really fun to have um, but if they just leave there's nothing really that I can do moving on though to our final animal updates are the dogs Bama! guys I think it's going on two years of having Bama this year we got him in 2020 as a foster when the whole pandemic was being crazy 
and everyone was on quarantine and stuff. We got to spend so much time together as a pub, right? Um, so it's almost been, I think, two years, pretty close, of having Bama, and he still loves his little armpit scratched all the time, and he's just crazy. He's still like a little baby, so he's a little baby around here, but he definitely puts up a good fight with Lexi. Lexi's our fastest dog, and he is always right there messing with her. He messes with all the dogs. And then Miley. So Lexi, if you guys remember, Lexi and Miley always go in the pool, but lately it's just been Miley more than Lexi. Miley loves to go in the pool and she's just been going in the pool all the time. So the dog's really, honestly, it's same old, same old, and let's find Daisy. So Daisy's inside. I know you guys always ask like when the dogs are outside, like where is Daisy if anything happened to Daisy because she's not outside. Daisy doesn't like to be outside. That's why most of the time she's not outside. She literally likes to go outside for five seconds, do her business and come back inside. So basically Daisy's doing good. Um, she is gonna be eight this year and life expectancy for an average golden retriever is like 10 to 12 years. And especially with her life expectancy though, since she's had epilepsy since she was nine months old and a lot of other chronic illnesses. So she is getting pretty up there in age. Um, this year she's eight. So if you think she's only two years away from the average life expectancy of a golden retriever, like a healthy golden retriever. So um, she has been classified as an elderly dog now. So she is kind of starting to show her like senior tendencies, but she's still got a lot of life in her. Um, but you know, same old, same old with her. All right, you guys, so that's pretty much an update on all of my animals. I feel like this video took us so long just because I'm going around trying to find all the animals, get them to pose for this video and be here. Um, but I think it's really good that we gave you guys an update of everything that's going on. And last but not least, our final update is we are going to be getting a new animal in like the next like month or so. So make sure you guys, if you guys are not subscribed, subscribe right now because you guys don't want to miss that. We are so excited and I believe you guys are gonna be really excited too. So if you guys liked today's video, if you liked getting an update on all my animals, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below. Make sure you turn on those post notifications so you don't miss any of these videos. And a chance to my post notification shout out today's shout out goes to. All right you guys, I'll see you in the next one.